Question 20 is an, an algebraic fractions question. Very hard A star grade question. Okay, in order to work through these types of questions, <coughs> the first thing we need to do is um, get rid of the fractions. Anytime you see a question with fractions in, you need to get rid of the fractions. Um, in order to get rid of a fraction, you times the whole fraction by the bottom of the fraction. If I times the whole of this fraction by x minus 2, I'm going to get x minus 2 on the top times by the 1 divided by x minus 2. And those will be able to cancel and we'll just be left with the 1. If I do that to this fraction though, I need it to do I need to do it to every term in the question. So I need to do it to this and I need to do it to the 2. So even though that becomes 1, this will become 1 times x minus 2. So we've got the 1 from here. So I'll just write 1 minus 1 times x minus 2 or just x minus 2. Still divided by this x minus 1, that's not gone anywhere. And on the right hand side we'll get 2 times by x minus 2. So we've got rid of one of the fractions, we need to do the same thing to now get rid of the other fractions. I'm going to times this by x minus 1, this by x minus 1, and this by x minus 1. So this becomes x minus 1, or 1 times x minus 1. This, they cancel, so we've just got the x minus 2, and this is 2 bracket x minus 2, x minus 1. Right, now we need to simplify everything. Notice I put this in brackets, and the reason I put this in brackets is because I, I remember that I need to times everything by this. Remember there should have been a 1 there, it's probably better if we put that 1 back in. So that we do minus 1 times x, we've got the x minus 1 at the front, minus 1 times x is minus x, and minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2. Really common mis mistake to put a minus 2 there, it shouldn't be a minus there, it should be a plus. On the right hand side we need to expand these brackets. I'm going to leave the 2 for now and I'm going to lobster these out. So we've got x squared, take away x, take away 2x, plus 2. So we've got x minus 1 minus x plus 2 equals, and now I can times everything here by 2. So that's 2x squared, take away 2x, take away 4x plus 4. And now we can collect everything together. So I've got an x and I've got a takeaway x. So they disappear. I've got a minus 1 and a plus 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. So just 1 on the right on the left hand side. On the right hand side I've got 2x squared. Take away 2x, take away 4x is minus 6x and plus 4. Okay. That's a quadratic, but we can't start solving it yet because it doesn't say equals 0, it says equals 1. So I also need to now take away that extra 1. That's going to then give me 2, and I, I like, I'm going to switch these around as well. I'm going to write the 2x squared stuff on this side. So that's going to become plus 3. Okay, now I'm hoping that this factorises. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world because this is a calculator paper, so we could use a formula if we need to. But I'm hoping I don't need to. I don't think that factorises. It can only be 3 and 1. That would give me 2, 3, 4, 5 x's, not 6, if it was that way around. And if it was this way around, whoops. If it was this way around, that would give me 7. No, so it doesn't factorise, which is very annoying. That means I need to use the quadratic formula. So that is that x equals minus b 
plus or minus, and this is in the front of your booklets, the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And for this question, we've got that a is 2, b is minus 6, and c is 3. So we've got x equals minus b, but we've got minus 6, so that's plus 6, plus or minus the square root of minus 6 squared, which is 6 times 6, so 36, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times 3 for c, all divided by 2 times 2, which is 4. So that is 6 plus or minus the square root of 36, take away 4 times 2 times 3, 4 times 2 times 3, is 24 divided by 4 6 plus or minus the square root of 12 all divided by 4 so that's either x is 6 plus root 12 divided by 4 or x is 6 minus root 12 divided by 4 and then we can work out those two numbers on the calculator. So I get 6 plus root 12 divided by 4 is 2.37 or x equals 6 minus root 12 divided by 4 not point six three. Notice at the top, I went back and checked what it said up here. It said, give your answer to two decimal places. That's useful for two reasons. The first reason is that that tells me, actually, I shouldn't have bothered trying to factorise this, because it wouldn't have factorised. They only ever say, give your answer to two decimal places, if you can't factorise a quadratic. And the second reason is so that I get my final answer mark, making sure that I've written my answers with two decimals here.